in a remote corner of southern Ethiopia within Mago National Park. A unique tribe of approximately 7,500 people, known as the Morsi people, continue to live and practice extraordinary traditions. According to Morsi oral history, the Morsi people migrated to the Omo Valley, their current home within Mago National Park, in their quest to find a cool place within rich soil for farming and green pasture for grazing their cattle. Omo Valley is sweltering hot and drought, and crop failure are common, so it makes one wonder why the Morsi stopped short of finding their ideal home. Morsi culture is best known for their two distinctive practice, the wearing of massive leaf plates by the women and fierce ritualized dueling by the men. When a Morsi girl reaches puberty around 15 years of age, her lower lip is cut and a small wooden stick is inserted. Once the wound heals, Larger sticks are introduced until eventually bigger and heavier plates are inserted to stretch the lip further and the bottom incisor teeth are removed to give more room. The process of stretching the lip is very painful but is endured by the young woman because the larger the plates one offers higher status and bright value in marriage. Some lip plates reach up to 12 cm in diameter. The lip plates are usually made from clay or wood and often are neatly painted. The lip plates are normally worn by single or newly married women to show their attractiveness and social status when serving food to men. At a special occasion such as wedding, a donga dueling competition and tribal dance. Although ceremonial in nature and contenders wear protective hides and headgear, the boots are fierce and can result in serious injuries and even death. The two young men duel until one withdraws or is knocked out of the fight. The champion of the duel then has the right to marry.
Most people also have a tradition of decorating their bodies with paint made from clay and minerals. The body painting can have significant meaning from warding off evil spirits and to intimidating enemies and even attracting a mate. The Musi are also known for their eye-catching jewelries, including bracelets and stunning headpieces made from metal, hides and animal tusks. Mosi wealthy is measured by the number of cows a tribe man's owns. Keto are vital to the Mosi tribe, not only as a prime source of food, but Keto also represent the heritage of a man as a bargaining chip to be able to marry in ritual sacrifices and to celebrate important events. Another vital staple in the Mosi diet is sorghum. The drought resistant grain is cultivated by the women and made into the thick porridge. In addition to sorghum, the women also cultivate maize, beans, and chickpeas. There are 80 tribes in the lower Omo Valley, including the Mosi. This tribe live in close contact with nature and depend on the river for survival. The recent developments of mega dams, cotton and sugar plantations along the Omo River have negative impact on the lives of the tribes here. Further climate change and increasing in tourism are threatening their ancestral ways of life. Young most men reach adulthood participate in ritual donga drilling using two meter long wood poles. The white limestone paint also acts as a protection from the sun and an insect repellent. <laughs> 